Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the newest ASMR video from Hogwarts Legacy. They just tweeted this out not too long ago saying, enjoy the sounds of summer in the hamlets and areas beyond Hogwarts Castle. And then the title of the video is called A Hot Summer Day 4K. So with that, let's get into the video. This first scene here, we can see a nice little hamlet area that's just on the outskirts of Hogwarts Castle. We can see in the background there. Got a couple of witches and wizards walking about their day in the foreground here with some flowers and such in the foreground. With some fl sunflowers, lilacs, I'm not sure. Not the plant expert here, but we can see some farming happening in the background there with uh, my best guess would be wheat, <laughs> barley, stuff to make. Uh, Maybe some hops. Uh, we can also see some pumpkins in the foreground in the middle area there and this hut to the left. Uh, probably just a normal looking hut. I'm not sure if we can enter the hut or not, but we can see it popping its head there out the left there by the hut. We see an animal pop out and if we just skip forward a little bit here, we can see that it's what looks to be a ram with the horns that we can see there on the left. So what my thought is, if there's normal animals, other than just the magical beasts in this world, can we capture them the same way that we do with the other magical beasts, with the, uh, the suitcase or briefcase, whatever, and transport them to our menagerie? Because I believe we did see a cat in our menagerie uh, in the gameplay trailer, which I'll link to the reaction to. If you haven't seen that already, I did a reaction to the gameplay trailer earlier, and that showed off a lot of content. So I'm glad that we're getting a little bit more uh, even after that with this ASMR video. But yeah, it's an interesting little uh, Hamlet scene. Nice to just vibe out and relax to these with the ASMR. We could sound effects as well from the whole environment. And then we'll go to our next scene here, which we have what looks to be like a little uh, bar or restaurant area. We can see with the uh, mugs on the tables and the bar top as well and uh, right next to this little creek area with a little bridge and we can see in the background hogwarts castle as well just looking majestic and mighty fine and yeah the the idea that there's some of these butter beers uh tables and restaurants sort of i wonder if there's many of them spread throughout the cast uh, throughout the grounds and and whatnot i'm wondering if we can just sit and relax at them. I put a post up on Reddit earlier uh, about the idea to just being able to sit down at one of these tables at the Great Hall or in the Great Hall at Hogsmeade in the Three Broomsticks or the Hogshead and just relax and listen to the ambiance as your character goes about his day just sitting there talking with maybe if there's other people there speaks up a random conversation with an NPC about nothing or even better put it towards what point in the story you're at and what the character would be saying. That'd be something uh, to definitely include more immersion in the gameplay of it all, just being able to do all that. One little thing here I noted uh, with these blades of grass here at the bottom, it hasn't been indicated yet if the game will have ray tracing, but to me, these do not look ray traced. And I know it's just a work in progress game, so couldn't it could just be that they've used the baked in lighting maps of everything for now, but to me, not too much of this. You could say maybe by the shadows, but even the shadows themselves. Yeah, I guess they're moving a little bit with the the flags and such, but that could also be baked in against the water, with the shadow on the flags here and then the blades of grass. They're somewhat moving, but the blades of grass, the grass aren't moving that much anyways in the first place, but I don't know. I'm hoping that we'll have some ray tracing components to the game for PC or for the current generation of consoles just to spruce up that look, making spells and whatnot in dimly lit areas look phenomenal. So really hope they do include some bits of that, uh, but this could just be a video that they turned all that off. They just wanted to focus on the environment and the, uh, and the ambiance that it presents. And if we skip forward now to our next little section here, we can see that we have a little hut on the left here, as well as some barrels and crates. So maybe this is a uh, populated area by means of like an outpost of some sort up top there on the hill. But next to this beach surrounding area, we can see 
these carvings on these stones. They all, they're, they all look pretty similar with the carvings that are on them. The carvings are minimal, could just be the asset themselves, but the shape of them is all the same and they're presented what looks to be in a circle pattern, uh, at least a semicircle pattern here to us with what we are given as a view next to what looks to be this little magic circle looking uh, location that we've seen in other trailers before for the game that seems to glow with green magic. Could be Merlin's magic, I'm not sure, but to me this seems like a little bit of a puzzle activation area where we stand on the circle and we whip around with maybe a spell uh, cast at each one of these stones to activate it and do it within like a time limit or something. Not sure, but that could be something that's included in the game. And then we get maybe an ability upgrade or just points towards ability upgrades by doing this. And then we unlock maybe, <clears throat> I wouldn't even say fast travel because I think fast travel will be from those flu network things, but maybe just the over similar to what, uh, Assassin's Creed and Horizon Zero Dawn and Forbidden West uh, do in the games where you go on the, you find, you go to these certain areas and then you activate what's in that area and it activates and shows on, the, reveals to you on the map of the surrounding area what's, what hidden items or dungeon entrances are available in that area by showing you and revealing that on your map. So this could be something that's related to that or it could just be something for ability upgrades like that. But yeah. I really love this idea that we're on these coastlines and I know yeah, that's just a dream and it's probably not going to happen, but the, the mountains that you can see just faintly in the background there, if we could like take our broom and just go all the way across this sea and explore those lands, that would be huge. I don't think that's going to happen. These are probably just meant to give you this, the grand scope of how big this lake is, but you're not actually going to be able to travel across it. Plus, you would probably need a really fast broom to make that journey less, um, a little less uh, long, <laughs> uh, considering the flight speed that we've seen already from the trailer. But yeah, nice little coastal area that uh, will be fun to explore. And if a lot of these water areas, maybe we'll be able to wade in and dive in. Maybe there's something beneath the water here that we can dive and explore. Not sure if they're gonna include a swimming mechanic like that, but it would be nice, especially considering that there's a lot of things to explore in the, in the Black Lake that's next to Hogwarts. So that would be fun to include. So yeah, we'll go to the next one here. And this one is a bit interesting because it has a nice little creek waterfall with this bridge in the foreground. And we can see Hogsmeade there in the background. I'll skip forward just a little bit more. But an interesting here on the right, we can see is these this recurring monument statue-like thing with the face on it and what looks to be a black bowl of some sort beneath it. And to me, I think we've seen these before, uh, except they were lit with green flames, indicating that that might be the flu network fast travel system that we're hinting at in a lot of these trailers and such and a neat little thing if they did it they don't have to but that would be fun is if you go up to these fast travel monument things uh, points of interest and the face talks to you and asks where would you like to go next and that reveals your map and just a little subtlety and it could be like a random voice every time too and it could be like a famous witch or wizard we could portray that as that it may be on the back of them it shows which wizard which wizard is on them that could be fun to include so that you can go explore all of them not only to unlock your fast travels but just to collect all the famous witches and wizards so that's uh that, that's the little um idea that i have with those little statues that could be fun to include but yeah, a lot of these little pond uh, creek areas, I'm wondering if we'll have that ability to swim across them at an early point in the game, or if these are just not, this one specifically maybe is not deep enough to need to swim and you just wait across it. Though there is a bridge, so it definitely shows the ability to get across these areas is mostly likely gonna be the bridges, but it could be fun to just wait across it and do more exploring, not only on the path, but on the un taken path and we can also see what looks to be this uh, dilapidated building in the background that most likely there's going to be a lot of these uh spread throughout the lands that we can loot items from and 
find little puzzles in them. Uh, or this one doesn't seem to be that large, so maybe it's just something that's included for the environment. But yeah, we can go to the next one. We see right at the beginning here, we see these wood carvings on this dock, uh, which indicates that maybe there's a bit of a town nearby, because this seems to be in great condition compared to what's shown on the backgrounds of everything here with the uh, everything looking in a state of disarray. Um, but yeah, this will be a nice little ocean scene. And we can see in the background, it's tough to see. It might not come through on the video, but these things right here do appear to maybe have either a trunk or a rope attached to them. So this could just be a tree. And these could also be just trees. But what are these circle looking things? To me, those look similar to what we saw in the gameplay reveal trailer of when the our character first was shown off flying on his broom. We saw those little balloon things. And to me, that could mean that those balloons are maybe like a mini game for flying that allows you to upgrade your flying speed, your control ability to flying, um, whatnot. Uh, or it could just be mini games to complete as a completionist. Uh, but yeah, some other stuff we could see in the background here along this little lake area, which this island just gives me those vibes of where um, in the movies Dumbledore is buried. Uh, I don't think it's the same because uh, I'm pretty sure it's at a specific location, but it just, that's what that island gave me vibes of. Uh, so that could be fun to go to and explore a little islands here and there and how we get there. Maybe do we swim? Maybe do we take a boat or do we just have to fly there when we get our room? Uh, but yeah, a little castle in the background with what looks to be a bridge across it. I don't think it's a dam. Some might say that might be a dam, but I don't think there's any water sources coming beyond it. Unless this is the lake itself holding the water into what looks to be below. It could be further down deeper. Um, don't think that's really important to the story though. So that's just what I'm seeing with this scene here. But this is the most interesting in this scene thing in this scene is this gear looking thing floating in the not floating, but sitting in the water. And to me, it's it's interesting because not a lot of these places in the surrounding area here. And we can even see if we go a little bit forward, this castle here on the left. None of these places seem to be um, like industrial looking like a factory of some sort where this gear might come from. So to me, I, I can only think maybe there's an entrance to a goblin dungeon of some sort uh, that they've um, sort of modernized in this age. Um, and this is just a remnant of that factory, but yeah, not sure. This next scene is uh, it, not too much filled that I can tell. Uh, we do see a column here on the left and a bit of uh, magical beast, maybe cages uh, in the middle here, as well as next to this big tree that has a hanging thing. Not sure if we can hit that with a spell to gather components for spells or not spells for potions. Um, but the fact that there's some beast cages could just be by coincidence that they include them uh, with the assets in this environment. Uh, but the column as well might indicate that's holding up maybe a cave entrance here or even even Cooler, I think, is if you have the ability to wade through this water here where the waterfall is going and on the left here where it gets a little darker, maybe that's a cave entrance into some place uh, that maybe because of there's cages here, uh, maybe they're bandits. This is an outpost maybe of them in a cave or, or some sort. In this next one, we see what looks to be a dock area with that's been sort of not taken care of that much and has been abandoned of sorts and whatnot. But if we pause it here, we can see what looks to be a very strange bridge in the background that uh, has a little bit of a curl to it. Um, definitely created magically. That's my best guess. And where it leads to this island, not sure that could be something that we need to explore and whatnot, but uh, definitely an interesting looking bridge that we haven't really seen too much of in the world yet. And yeah, nothing too much here. We see a what looks to be like a sack of items <clears throat> in the background there. And maybe that's lootable. Maybe that's just an asset that we have in the world presented to us. But uh, yeah, nothing too much in here. If we skip a little bit forward, we can see that this little structure here with some rope like ladders, these seem to be in good condition. So those were recently added with the, the vines that are present on these rocks and such. Um, but I'm not sure if that would be a climbable ladder. I think that's just something that was included 
um, that uh, it, it just adds to the vibe of the world and such. But one thing on the left here that we can see, we can go a little bit for, further ahead, is this little boat that seems to be in working condition. It doesn't have oars, but it seems to be in working condition, which makes me think maybe we can use it to go across the water uh, before we get access to our broom or something, or just use it as a boat and we can <clears throat> go gather items that are along the water because maybe as a broom when you're flying on the broom you can't ga gather items that are floating on the water you can't get close enough so maybe the boat provides us access to that and we just use magic to propel ourselves across but yeah it, nice little scene with uh, the background of it all uh, and then this final one we can see at the start here we can see another one of those sacks on the left uh, that to me i think these are going to be lootable because of the fact that this bridge looks to be how we can get across the water but maybe the fact that this sack is presented underneath the bridge why would they put it there if not for us to go explore under the bridge and loot because it would be unnecessary for them to load in these assets there's another floating barrel here and i think we can see another floating barrel here beneath that bridge um, why would they include those if we were not supposed to come across and down under the bridge and there's even some pile of rocks of sorts here so this is definitely an area that we'll have to explore as a character it's probably not a big area and related to the story in any way whatsoever but it's just small little exploration easter eggs that they include so that us players can go explore the world as much as possible and find these things that are under the bridges and whatnot um what's under these rocks not sure could be something lootable could just be the rocks are there to look at <laughs> um but yeah yeah and i think with the floating barrels or even the sacks not sure but the floating barrels we could maybe bust open with a spell of some sorts and then accio the items that are in them to us so that we don't actually have to go swim out there or take the boat as we saw in the previous one out there but yeah i don't know it could include some items and whatnot this scene though is the most interesting to me because we see once more, if we skip forward a little bit so we can get a better view of it, the statue here on the right of what looks to be a witcher wizard that we can interact with this statue in some way. And it's relating to the previous video, I'll link it up above, um, of my Morgana teaser analysis that they gave us a little teaser to a few weeks ago. And the theory on that is that that witch in that video was Morgana, but we're not sure 100% yet still if these are just random witches and wizards that we can uh, learn about. But my best guess would be maybe something you go, since these are dispersed throughout the world and everything, um, they that we'd have the ability to go interact with them and they'd tell us something about the area or about the story. Um, or they use them we use them as a save point of some sort uh but yeah they're very interesting that it, they would be right along the path here like it's not even in the background or anything it's in the background of this shot but as far as the path that the player takes to get to this uh dilapidated building here in the background this is right along the path so that is definitely significant and probably relates to the gameplay in a big way um yeah and then one last little thing is this little slug here uh, crawling along on the bottom right here <laughs> definitely small because our camera's right up into the the scene of it but definitely not important to the gameplay or whatnot but just adds to the overall immersion of the game where we have living interact not interactive but living creatures in this world that are just going about their business as we're playing the game so Really like this video and uh, it has some great summer vibes to it with uh, the, the sounds you can hear, the ambiance. I didn't have them in this video, but uh, give it a listen. I'll link the video down in the description so that you can listen to it and have it on loop like sometimes I do for these Harry Hogwarts Legacy ASMR videos um, to just listen to and relax to. So if you like the content, we'll be covering more like this uh on the coming months as we get closer and closer to the game's release which is now february 10th uh 2023 next year so they did push it back which makes me think that if they're doing a, they did a rainy spring night rainy spring night and a hot summer day smr videos they'll probably do a fall one and then they'll probably do a winter one it's almost like they planned to push that release date back um they didn't but now it gives them that opportunity to do all four seasons in asmr videos which i'm definitely looking forward to analyzing similar to this one but also just relaxing too and 
yeah, so if you guys like the content and want more of that, hit the like button. Uh, it really helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already, because we're trying to, our goal for the end of the year is 100 subscribers, and we're right at 50 right now as of today. And so it definitely helps me out to build my channel. And it also helps me out to know what kind of content you guys are looking to watch on the channel. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. And uh, with that, we'll see you guys in the next one.